the best and most logical step and choice is to go forward, to succeed, to grow, to learn, to help. Um, grow in my discomfort. Topic inspired by recent headaches I've had. You know, um, I share stories with some people and I some things I'll say I said a couple times. You know, I really want to believe, tell me if I'm wrong, but I really, 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 really I just want to do this. So just work on my own thing and and get out of your way get out of every, everyone's way just focus on this there's enough pie enough slices enough things for all of us to uh, to win but um Recently, I've just had more incidents that that uh, legally I can't use brute violence. I'll, I'll just give you one of the examples where it took me a while to shake it off. It was when some dumbass pulled out uh, his knife. I think that's a cool knife, you know. It's I could use that to like butter my toast. Something about the bigger knife I have on me. And my two guard dogs. And I started thinking, you know, I technically have to wait for this fucker to technically um, go into a forward attack position in order to kill him. But. To Los Angeles, say, well, he's evading from a crime, from the scene of a crime, so he's no longer a threat. I can't touch him. And then the other people that just, um, I think the formula is as simple as if you're not busy creating or doing, you're bored, um, you're jealous, you don't, you don't want to see others happy, you, um, you're just a miserable fucking coward, selfish motherfucker, you'll, you'll pull the anchor on someone else, on their happiness, on their progress. In order to feel some sort of um, numb or distraction from your own pain, and I'm thinking, you know, how did I get to this mess? You know, how did I put myself back in Los Angeles? I'll say it was through a poor, ignorant, naive, um, I hold myself accountable choices. I did this. <clears throat> I think what is the calculation I had that made that I learned now after the dust has settled? Take profit. That's pro you know, that's probably one thing I learned this year. I could have taken more profit. <laughs> Past. And didn't.
but it's, it's just disappointing where you think, oh shit, whoa. I can, I can uh, regroup, resettle, and come back. And then uh, you just see people turning their backs on you. I mean, cowards. Well, that's not my problem. That's your problem. Just leave it alone. What's the big deal? <clears throat> and me, I learned that the thing that's probably getting me so many headaches was my conditioning um, of a tacit approval. Oh, that's okay. They, they can be like that. You can put up with that shitty behavior because that's family. They're related. You grew up with them. You knew them. But they live with you. They live next to you. They live around you. You go to the same school, same college, work at the same place. They're familiar. They know this person, you know that person. Uh, what if we uh, need them as a contact? What if this and that? And I'm like, what the fuck? I've done it more than once. Where I've gone to another city, another town, another state, and sometimes in another country with uh, zero contacts and uh, come out profitable in the green. New client, new sale. I didn't, I didn't start doing that till um, till later in life. But by then I was like, "Fuck this! This is what it feels like to fly, to soar as high as uh, you can, as long as you uh, keep on." Keep on flapping. But, uh, a lot of people are not like that. Though. Not too much. Then I started thinking in a very, very negative way. Like, I'm in a negative way. And get sweet justice and I balance up the universe could I get in the wrath of God I say yeah but in exchange for what my goals my growth my comfort my potential well, for what? Nothing. Not, not even a thank you. So I'm like, you know what? Let it burn. Let them not know what it's like to cross the finish line. <clears throat> to become more, to earn more. And again, that, that keeps you right here. Work on this. And yeah, you, you, you know, I could get depressed and I could be like, you know what, it'd be cool right now if I had a hot cocoa, a wife, a loving family, a good neighborhood, a nicer car. But the only thing, the upgrade that I would want to get is, I would want a, a much warmer um, bedroom for my dog, or bed, or sleeping sleeping area for my dog until she shivers sometimes <laughs> I 
the real one time to kind of kick off my mind bed because I think, no, I like this bed. I like it. Go away. Go sleep under that tree over there. The homeless can do it. The homeless can. Yeah, and then that's why I do this, man. You know what? I need to make those sales because, yeah, I'll, I'll want them. You know, my dogs to have a memory foam bed. Um, just an upgraded, um, a, a warm or cool bed, a warm or cool place. To sleep. And, um, instead of just, you know, like me, just adapting to the, um, to the elements. But then also think, hey, you know what? The apocalypse has begun to take you. The apocalypse does say, I want my dogs to be on point. I'm gonna look into that. Yeah. Definitely want to upgrade their their living their living their situation. My dog um Other pleasure. I just want my dogs to you know, wag their tails more. <clears throat> and, it, and it's up to me. It's up to me. I need to earn that for them. And uh, yeah, that's why I get the stuff, get it done. Being distracted, I'm gonna focus more on solutions for upgrading marketing sales. And just uh, just do that. Just do that. I think a lot of other people just want me to be miserable like them. Carl would do like them. Not believe this themselves. To strangle my dreams, my visions, that they have their own. Let me be a little bit careful. A bit uh, reluctant, just because right now the uh, my sales are down <clears throat> by a lot. And... Uh, And see a, a quick recovery here. Looking at the island boys. Boys are all over the place. Those guys exist. Those guys exist.
Yep. Um, not to sulk anymore like I have in the last thousand videos. Okay, the only thing to do is um, yeah, just just keep keep on um, pressing on um, on doing on achieving. And I think just right now with a, just an abundance of hypocrisy, hypocrisy and sabotage and the confrontation that I've been into just my fuck. I think I wish a nigga would and now a nigga did. Racialist. But yeah, the, uh, you know, just if you're having a bad day, in effect, the day distracted, dream killer, naysayer, betrayal, you're thinking, fuck this person. This person's not a believer. This per person is um, telling you to throw in the towel just because you slipped. Just because, um, we're in the eleventh round, and uh, whatever reason, wow! Can't believe I'm not throwing that. Okay, but we'll see what happens, cause. The way things are is uh not to um find a way to upgrade my lifestyle. Achieve more with uh n knowing that that uh Um, like I said, knowing that I have to take much, many more steps <coughs> to make things, get things done. And know that I, I'm not in some sort of Disney movie. And things will easily work out. And then you better just say, hey, let's go for a dog walk. So when dogs do that, they'll take off. You're peeing, you're peeing on my grass, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll get to them right now. I remember one time they barked at someone for tying their shoes in their peripheral vision. Go away, man. Stop loitering. That's it for now, motherfuckers. Trump, Rittenhouse, 2024. And remember, when going gets tough, let's go Brandon. Out.